Greetings, greetings. Welcome initiates and butterflies and transformation, just like me. Welcome to your word, your daily healing inspiration, and your Christ seed. Welcome to all my emissaries of light, my way showers, my 144, and my galactic aspirants. You are with Tunisia Ali, helping you to gain clarity, up-level your mindset, clear and heal energetic blockages, use your sword of truth, wear your garments of righteousness, so that you can truly manifest the glory of God right here on earth and within yourself. Now we have a lot we're gonna talk about today. So you might wanna just get comfortable, grab a cup of tea, plan some time. Have you ever asked yourself, asked yourself why you felt like a fallen star? You know what I mean, like feeling like you don't belong, feeling like this planet is really a prison planet. It is a prison planet. Feeling like you don't look like anybody, you don't feel like anybody, you don't think like anybody, you know you ain't from around here. I ain't never seen you around here before. What's your name? You know what I'm saying? It's like, wait a second. Well, if you really think about it, because of that level of inner isolation, in external isolation, you had to go within yourself, which essentially means you were drawing nearer to the creator all the time. So in effect, it was really, it was really just a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, beautiful blessing. You know, because the great books tell us that only in the remembrance of the Holy Spirit or only in the remembrance of God do we actually find peace. So you were seeking the Holy Spirit, the divine when you didn't even know it. Because you're always going to be called to the path of that which is righteous and pure and in sync with the divine Holy Spirit. Let's go ahead and get into the message today. This is the place in space that keeps you aligned with the divine where all comes in due time. I love you. I love you. I love you. Let's go ahead and get gritty and greedy. Transcend the matrix. Make the ultimate sacrifice and live the one true reality. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Glory to my God, the Most High. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Initiates, today we are discussing how to know when you are being initiated so that you may heed the call over your life. Now keep in mind that as an initiate, your job truly is to draw nearer to God. The closer you are to the Holy Spirit, the faster you're able to manifest your heaven right here on earth in terms of all of the fruit and the wealth that is permissible by way of the Holy Spirit, the Creator, Allah, God, Buddha, whatever it is that you call your spiritual connection, it might be source, it could be the universe. The point is that the more that you draw inward and come to know God, the more God draws nearer to you. So as an initiate, that's your job. As your God, whatever you call your God is closer to you than your jugular vein. Your God is known by many, many names. So to fulfill your mission, you must take your directives only from Holy Spirit. We don't take our directives from human beings. We don't take our directives from the Imam at the Masjid. We don't take our directives from the preacher who's on TV with 10,000, 10 million views. 
We take our directives from the Holy Spirit. Because your world and your world with the Holy Spirit is individual to just you. It involves a relationship with you and the divine. It has nothing, no thing to do with anyone else or anything else, but everything to do with you and the creator and the Lord of all the world. In effect, the Lord of your world. Do you understand? Because in God are all things. Some people believe there's 70,000 veils of light. Some people don't. It's irrelevant because if that's what they believe, that is what they're going to experience. God cannot be contained. God is incomprehensible. God is ineffable. So how are you going to get to God through a man whose, whose knowledge and understanding is limited? And why have you reduced yourself as a child of God to something less than the person who you are listening to who's giving you a belief system? It just really, it doesn't make sense. That's why we hear in the Bible, ye are gods, the kingdom of heaven is within, because it is. When you search outside of yourself for it through other people, you bring error into your understanding. your God all by yourself. Shout out, shout out to the amazing Lorraine Kane, who is um, a patron from my Sister Locks channel and a dear friend who I revere for helping me to understand it in a different way. Because from Islam, from an Islamic background, I understand it from the way I was brought up there. Having studied the Bible, I understand it from a biblical vernacular or language. Having read the Bhagavad Gita, the Tao wisdom, having knowledge of Hinduism and other uh, belief systems, but to hear her say it like that, my God is my God all by myself, then that means your God is your God all by yourself. Doesn't matter what anybody else says. Doesn't matter what they call it. That's what they believe. If they try to inflict that, literally inflict that, because they're doing harm to you. If they try to inflict that on you by judging you and telling you what you must call your God all by yourself, they have a problem. And then they are in ego. They are certainly not in God, because in God, there is no separation. There's only one truth. Allah Akbar. Allah is great. Talk beer. So if you are around someone and they're telling you what to believe or they're coming into their arrogance and their pridefulness and they're judging you, you need to run, Forrest, run. This person is not for you. They can't be because they're not for God. If a person is not for God, there's no way under the sun they can do anything except destroy you, confuse you create distance between you and your God. This person is, what do we say? A haughty spirit goes right before the fall. It's no different than you're a vegetarian and someone eats meat. And because they eat meat, they criticize you for being a vegetarian because they can't accept that you are different. They want a clone of themselves. You don't want a clone of someone else. To clone someone is to create confusion. They themselves are a clone of confusion and you need to get away from them because they will lead you astray. They will lead you as far away from God as anything you've ever known. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, 
Do you really think that the Lord our God cares on what <laughs> cares about what you refer to our Lord as? Heck no, man cares about that because man is limited. The Muslims, for example, the people who call what they believe in Islam, they believe in 99 names and they tell you that God gave Adam all the names, right? Which means he breathed those names into Adam through the spirit, which is called Ruh. The Christians believe that God can, can come to you in three different ways. So they can often refer to God in some circles by three names. Am I gonna criticize them because they believe in three and I believe in 99 when they too believe in the rock? So do you see how it doesn't matter because your God is your God in your world and my God is my God in my world. The important thing is that we understand that there is a higher power that we must surrender to, that there is a higher power that governs everything in creation, that there is a higher power that we must release our ego to, which is edging God out. The ego is which causes you, is what causes all of us to edge God out and to worship everything except for the one true one. We worship what this preacher said. We worship what someone else said. I can't do this because you told me I can't wear fingernail polish. Well, my God said, my God said he wasn't concerned with fingernail polish. Somebody else's God said, I ain't a he, I'm a she. Somebody else's God said, I'm Shiva and Shakti. Who's right? And does it matter? It only matters in this worldly world where Satan is reigning supreme in most people's lives. <laughs> and you wouldn't hear something else even more hilarious, yet catastrophous, and I'm inventing that word, some people think their God said that they were chosen, even though if they read the scripture and didn't rely on some middleman's interpretation, they would understand that there's only one thing that differentiates people from one another. And it sure ain't what you call your God. And it sure ain't where you go pray. And it sure ain't where you live at in a certain part of the world, baby. It's the garment of righteousness. It's the armor of God. It's out called the Salim. The chosen people are the people with the pure heart. That's why it is time. It's time. It's time. I feel a song coming on, y'all. Put it in the comment section. Tell me who your God is and where you got that from. Who is your God? Don't get it twisted, baby. You're not a chosen one because you're out here proselytizing for the religion that you feel everybody should become. No, you're a chosen one when you live in union with your Lord, which means you have not separated down into your various identities and your various sects what you believe and this said this and somebody else said that the chosen are those people who walk with the one true god and the one true god is open for business for everyone المتكبير الخالق الباري المسوير الغفار الكهار الوحار الرزاق الفتاح العلي القابيد البسيد الخافيد سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الرافية المعيس المدهي 
physics, there's nothing except pure consciousness expressing itself through itself over and over and over again. That's what that really means. If there's nothing but pure consciousness, for those of you who can get this, grab the fruit. If you don't get this, don't get stuck here because this message has many levels and dimensions depending upon where you are because Allah sends down water to the valley or to the valleys in due proportion. And so what that means is there's no other reality except 
you and God. Nothing else exists. So truly in one dimension or one plane of reality, depending upon where you are in your state of consciousness, everything in the material world, the spiritual world, the emotional world, the financial world, the intellectual world, any other world that you want to come up with, whatever that world is, what you're going to experience in that world has everything and only to do with your state of mind, your state of consciousness. As you climb this ladder of the initiate, initiate and you draw nearer to the one, the almighty, the most high, the light, the peace, the opener, the closer, the debaser, the destroyer, the provider, or whatever it is that you want to refer to your Lord as, because your Lord has many names, Believe you me, when I tell you the reality that you experience with your Lord is going to have to do with your belief system, your knowing system, your embodiment system. What are you embodying? How are you experiencing your Lord? What is it that you think about your Lord? What is it that you think is it is possible for your Lord to do in your life? I know it's possible for my Lord in my life to help me meet the numbers I want to meet before I'm 54 years old so that I can help the rest of God's creation. That's what I believe about my Lord. If you believe that your Lord is mean, that your Lord is an angry Lord, that your Lord is a debaser, that your Lord is punishing you, that your Lord has put you down here on this planet to suffer, I promise you that's exactly the kind of experience that you're going to have down here on this planet. You're going to feel like it's hell raising every day. So if you haven't noticed Things are ramping up out here in these spiritual streets. And it's going to ramp up even more and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And it's going to literally feel like the sun is burning right over your head and you're getting ready to swim in your own sweat. It's very serious, the time that we are living in. And many of us have been in a state of duality, going back and forth between worlds, back and forth between light and darkness, whether it's in our physical reality at the level of, you know, continuing to be consumed by those things that we know are not good for us, whether it has to do with how we are living and how we are moving in the world. It may have to do with anything that you may be dealing with. The same may be true with regard to your mental state of mind. Maybe you're having difficulty controlling your thoughts. Maybe you're running back and forth between anxiety and depression. Maybe perhaps you have some sort of conflict within you that is keeping you from rising up and from going to the next level and from executing on the orders that you have been given. Maybe from an emotional standpoint, you can't get out of the space of living in the past. If you're not in the past, crying about something, something someone did to you or, or feeling as though you were victimized or complaining, woe is me. Maybe you're in a space of increasing angst with regard to what is going to happen tomorrow or what tomorrow is going to bring. And those uh, extremes keep you out of the present space where the divine one is always, which is in the present moment. When you are in the present moment, communing with your Lord, nothing else exists. Time, which we all know is a man-made construct, does not even exist. Separation does not exist because in those moments you are one with the divine and you're tapping in and tuning into all that is you and beyond. This is the place that as initiates we have to strive to be in all the time. You have to work harder because while the opposition is ramping up, and when I say they are ramping up, especially in this last few months, it's ramping up, okay? It's really ramping up. So it's time to make that decision a step forward and to allow, to allow your steps to be ordered and to take only those actions and to move only in those ways that you are guided to move. It is time to truly go within and understand the reality and not allow this matrix or 
this outside mirage, this illusion to captivate you to the point to where you forget why you came here, what it is you are supposed to be executing, and what it is that you need to be getting ready for. Because time is moving on, for those of you who get what I'm saying here, and because time is moving on, if you're finding yourself lost, then you are going to be unable to act out those things that your soul came here to do. You are not going to be able to rise to the necessary occasion, okay, by the necessary time. What does this require? It requires discipline. It requires consistent acts of faith. It doesn't matter what you look like on the outside. It's, it, what matters is your heart. It doesn't matter if you go to church on Sundays or if you recite this or you recite that. If we are not able to execute the word of our Lord, the one, and do those things that we have been called to do and to call those people to that oneness that we have been called, surely we will be in loss. Verily, we will be in loss. And that's really what it's about. There's a lot on the horizon, okay? Because as this planet is shifting, as the vibration on this planet is heightening, as your DNA becomes more and more activated, as you begin to recognize that your DNA process is light and that that is what you need to the light of the mind, the illumination of the spirit, as you begin to understand that that is what you are here for, not the hard, cold reality of protein. As we were told, the, the DNA is here to, to, to process protein. No, the DNA process is light because you are coming into your light body. And so many of you may have been noticing a lot of different symptoms over these last many years. Well, it's ramping up. And for those of you who have been initiated, you don't really have that much of a choice in the sense that this is what your soul came to do. And if you turn away from that, you are going to be in a state of dis-ease, a state of disease, a state of unrest, a state of restlessness, okay, a state of inner turmoil and tumult. So it's time to step into your rightful place, Simba. It's time to step into your rightful place and take up the torch, the sword of truth, to wear the armor of the one and to be moved by Holy Spirit to set right your affairs and to do those things in your life that you know you need to do and to get ready because many of you may be feeling at a soul level that there's something that you need to be getting ready for. These messages will be continuing to come out for many of you who are part of my soul tribe. I've been able to reach out to a lot of you. For others of you who have not, those of you who follow this channel, you know you're already a part of my soul tribe. You have been. But you've also been called to create to, and to lead your tribes as well. And so it's important that you check in on a regular basis, as I mentioned before, that you share these messages, that you check back periodically to make sure your notifications are on because this technology... <laughs> As many of you all know, it's got a mind of its own, literally. It's got a mind of its own, and it is eavesdropping on you. And it's important, really, to, to start paying attention. It's important, really, to begin to pay attention to what you're putting in your mouth. Things are far less beneficial than you realize. It is important that you begin to fast so that you can gain control over your carnal desires. It is important that you begin to slow down and find time during the day to commune. It's important that you get out in nature. It's important that you pay attention to all of the signs that are around you. The more that you get into that God vortex or that Holy Spirit, uh, vortex, the more you're going to realize that not only are your steps ordered, but there'll be things placed on your path very consistently to support you and help you get to the next stage. Do not worry about the things of this world. 
Because once you begin to step into what your calling is, and if you've been listening to this closely, you should have a pretty good idea of what your calling is. Once you begin to step in that, you have no worries and you have no fear. Yes, you will be tested with your children, your wealth, your health, and so forth and so on. But those things are to hone you, to elevate you, and to prepare you for the work that you are here to do. You are here for divine work. You are here to uphold the garments of righteousness that belong to us all, irregardless of where you come from. All of these messages are here to help you transcend the matrix and live the one true reality, to keep you aligned with the divine. The, the majority of these messages henceforth on this channel will not always be comforting. They are going to challenge you. They are going to create hardship. They are designed to refine you and hone you for the spiritual warfare that we began last year. Almost around the same time. It's important that you understand that the powers that be, the status quo here in this world is leveling up and has powered up again and again and again. In order for you as an initiate to meet them, transcend them, and to govern your reality, it is important that you stay fully armed. Knowing is half the battle, half, only half. You're gonna get half here and you're gonna have to develop, extend, up level, increase, exacerbate and exaggerate your half on your own. You are coming here to heed the call and to get the messages that you need. You are not coming here to rely on this guidance only. Your mandate will be and currently is to develop your own direct line of communication with the one the divine presence, the Trinity, your Allah, your Jesus, your Bible, your Quran, your Bhagavad Gita, your Tao. Remember, I am known by many names and people come to me through many routes. I am in all things. The most important reference for you at this time is that you understand that I am in you. Please direct that at your first person and say to yourself five times, I am is in me. As a side note, it is critical that when you meet with your other soul tribers, the people that you are being charged to lead, whether you like it or not, you are being charged to lead, which is why you must not use these messages as a crutch. It is important that when you come into contact with your fellow initiates, the people who will take up the torch that you give them and engage the battle of truth and the battle for this planet. That you pass on the word. You will pass on the word in your daily life. By speaking, you will pass on the word on YouTube by sharing the video 
without fail, without hesitation. You will pass on the torch within your home by sharing your thoughts, but by sharing your thoughts with only those who are to be shared with. Always remember, no matter what, your job is only to spread the message. Your job is not to beat the door down, tear down the wall. A word to the wise is always sufficient. That is all the Holy Spirit is asking you to do. The rest, the Holy Spirit will wage war on the Holy Spirit's own. On to the primary message, which has to do with your initiation. Please understand that if you have been connected with me for any length of time, whether it is on my I Am Melanin Magic YouTube channel, whether you came to me to order something from the I Am Melanin Magic website through a connection via someone else, and or whether you have been on this Butterfly Transformations channel for any length of time whatsoever, having found at least one video that resonated with your soul, one video, one is the magic word, period. As you engage this resistance, it's important to understand again that because you are here, you have been engaged. Whether you think it's by me, trust it is not. You have been engaged by a higher power. And I have been engaged to assist on this railroad that is underground. This railroad that is underground. The resistance is critical, but you must understand who your enemy is, what you are resisting, and how to carry out and execute this spiritual warfare and the instructions of the divine. At this particular time, some of those messages are going to be channeled through me. At some other time, it may come some other way. Once you get your wings, please take flight. Again, do not become a cripple. This beat is hot. Dun, 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 dun. This beat is hot. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. This beat is in fact hot, but so is the rhythm of the matrix. It too is heating up and becoming unbearable. However, because we live in a world of duality, depending upon your perspective. The holy powers, the foot soldiers are also ramping up their game. A word to the wise is in fact sufficient. Please remember that while you are being inspired and encouraged, you the aspirant and the initiate must activate. You must activate. What must I activate, might you ask? You must activate your 
DNA, you must activate your soul's yearning by responding to the call. You must activate your full knowing. You must activate your full embodiment. For many of you, you should already be beyond the belief stage. That's the most difficult stage because that's the stage that opens your eyes. But it's just the beginning. Belief is not going to do anything for you. Belief is not going to get rid of the anxiety in your head. Belief is not going to get rid of the distress from the stress of the matrix. Belief is not going to get you to walk away from something that is no longer serving you. Belief will never sever your attachments. And you have many of them. Belief will not move you forward. Belief will not make this real to you. Belief will keep you trapped on the outskirts. Defenseless, vulnerable, and under constant attack. Without your weapon. In the full sun of the Eight of Swords card. Stuck, powerless, separated from yourself and unable to defend yourself. Your hands will be tied behind your back and you will be blindfolded. We don't have time to play. Everyone wants to go to heaven. No one wants to die. No one wants to die. Well, guess what? You fall out of the womb dying, dying to be born. You were born to die. Ask yourself, what are you dying for currently in this lifetime? The soul <clears throat> is here to help you to evolve. The spirit is here to help you to transcend and reach for the higher realms. They must be working together with the community of self. Your body, your body mind, your mind, your emotional aspect, and all the other planes must come into full union until they come into full union you will never manifest your greatness until they come into full union you will never shine your brilliance until they come into full union you will always always be a shrinking violet until you come into union you will not fully stand in your splendor and take your victory pose. Please place your hands up. Those of you who are veterans on this channel, stand up from wherever you are. Place your hands up in the air in victory pose. Hold your head back with your third eye facing the sun. For those of you who are new to the channel, it looks very similar to what a gymnast would do after a particular set. It is important to embody this pose on a regular basis. It's going to be a part of your activation. It's important that you physically get up and do it. It's important that you feel the energy and the emotion of it. It's important that you mentally connect to why you are doing it. And it is important that you allow the Holy Spirit to flow through you and relax you and to give you whatever messages 
This victory pose is designed to give you in your own personal world, in your own personal relationship with God. This is a critical aspect of your responsibility and your role as an initiate. How might I know, how might you know that you are under the imperative of initiation? In the most recent past, in your present, you are feeling extreme discomfort. Your soul is feeling restless. You are going through light and dark days and degrees in between. One moment you set an intention, the next moment you've gone into heedlessness, you've fallen off your path with the goals that you have set, such as perhaps an exercise regimen or a dietary change, or maybe it's financial goals. It can be anything whatsoever. Life becomes increasingly challenging and you don't understand quite why. You have a pulse on some things, but there are too many other things that are unclear to you at this time. You feel a sort of turbulence. Many of you may be feeling as though you are walking in between worlds. Please understand that you have always been on this path. You fell out of the womb on this path. You were chosen for this work. This does not make you special. You are simply chosen at this time for this work. Please place your egos aside. The ego takes front and center stage. You won't get the message. You will convolute and pollute the messages. You will say more than what needs to be said. Please go placidly amidst the noise and haste and remember what peace there may be in silence. Many of you have heard me say this on the channel over the years. Deserata. Please make sure you get that online and add that to your arsenal. It can be a very powerful recitation. Go placidly amid the noise and haste and remember what peace there may be. And I'm going to say is in silence. Silence is golden. In this level of heedlessness and inner turbulence and outer disharmony, the justice card, Alamizan, Alamizan, the balance is being restored in your life, but you have to allow it to happen. You cannot skip this step will never manifest your abundance in this world, the fruit of your labors, and fulfill your God-given duties if you fail to understand and apply this. We are not at the level of understanding. We have bypassed that in the same way that we are no longer at the level of belief. You should be at the level of knowing by now. You should have so much discomfort in your life at this time and you should have, in the more previous period, have been undergoing some sort of dark night of the soul, as they might call it. You may have been battling in the chrysalis as the caterpillar who must consume him himself and eat himself and regurgitate its contents before exiting exodus, exodus. Exodus, before exiting 
the cocoon and getting his wings and taking flight. As the initiate, you are charged with the responsibility. If you ignore this responsibility as someone who has been chosen and is currently being prepared for the work that you are being prepared for, you're going to take a great, mighty fall from grace. Many of you are receiving messages from me individually. Some of you might be receiving messages in other ways you may be thinking of me. Please know that I am online and I'm feeling your energy. Please understand at whatever time the tower card hits, the tower call, tower card hits. And we don't, and when it all falls down, and when it all, all falls down. When it all, when it all falls down, when it all, all falls down, please locate those lyrics by whatever means necessary. Shazam, YouTube, Google, whatever. When it all when it all falls down, when it all, all falls down, when it all falls down, Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. They were never able to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. When it all, when it all falls down, when it all, when it all falls down. God never calls the prepared. He prepares the called. That is why you, the initiate, must understand. Take up your rightful armor and fight for the cause. Because you are being prepared. God prepares the called. Ever ponder why God does not call the prepared? Ask yourself, why not? Why does God not call the prepared? The prepared already think that they were called. And because they think that they were called, they speak with their mouths. They hear with their ears. They think with their minds. They see with the eyes of this world. You cannot see with your eyes you must see with the one eye, the first eye, the only eye. You must see with the eye of the divine. You must hear the music of the one true rapture. You must speak only the words that have been channeled via Holy Spirit using you as a medium. You are simply a medium. Please do not get it twisted. We must stay humble. If we distort the gifts and the messages of the one, we will lose our gifts and we will quickly be debased in the same way that Adam and Eve ate of the tree. It is not about you. It never was. It is not about me. It never was.
the initiation requires sacrifice. As I said, it's not about knowledge at this point. You already got that. It's not about belief. It's about knowing. It's about conviction. It's about knowing. It's about conviction. Simba, stand up and take your rightful place in the cycle of life. Remember who you are. You will find yourself in the midst of a great purge. You will see the purge out there in the street. That is not the purge you need to worry about. That purge has nothing to do with you. Remember in the Prince of Egypt, when they were instructed to place the blood of the lamb on their doors, when the great storm was coming, same here. If you have not watched the Disney version or the Marvel version or whatever it is of that, please do so. Watch it again if you have watched it before, because pearls of wisdom are going to be in there. You are not going to and should not if you're actually growing be comprehending content at the same level there are layers to this thing <clears throat> i feel 11 dimensions <clears throat> i'm at the bottom one so there's much work to be done what say ye What does all this mean? It means that you are to eat of the words that will be broadcast using this station as a medium. Please understand that you are lifting and picking up a frequency. It goes beyond the words. You are tuning in, tapping into a frequency the more that you spend time listening to this message regurgitating this message making sure you fully understand this message continuing to listen to the messaging repeating it pausing it rewinding it spreading it the deeper the message is will reside within your soul and you will become the walking embodiment. As you become the walking embodiment, you will tap into a stable frequency. You will no longer be in this energy and this duality, this going back and forth, this overthinking, this analysis paralysis, this state of complaint, this state of illness, <clears throat> this state of body pain, this state of extreme fatigue, the state of exiting from the toxicity and all manner of other things that will come by way of being out of divine alignment. Do not expect that your notifications are going to get you to this station. The onus will be on you to tap in for these messages. You'll find it many times that the messages may glitch. They may not necessarily come through clearly. You may not necessarily hear it as things are leveling up. And we spoke about that earlier. That's going to become more and more commonplace. When it falls, when it all falls down, when it all, all falls down, when it all, when it all falls down, when it all falls down and it begins to further collapse and implode on itself. Because you do not know and we cannot foresee the when, the hour and the what. It is important that you understand that all of the knowledge that you need is already within you. 
The seed of Christ consciousness is already within you. It is on you to activate it. It's important that we not tie up the airwaves. We cannot be calling each other up via frequency and telepathy when things get busy. It is indeed time for you to pick up your bed and walk. To digest, to re-ingest, to masticate and to chew on, to marinate in these messages, in the word. Please make sure that you find a copy of Ayatul Kursi. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu qayyum la taqqaduhu sinatun wa la naum lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard man zalladhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi'idni Yalamu ma bayna aydihim wa ma khalfahum wa la yahiduna bi shayyim min ilmihi ila bi ma sha wasiyar kursiyu samawati wal ard wa la yauduhu hifduhuma wal huwa laliyu adhim This will provide and cloak you as the sun gets hotter and the chaos continues and you strive to get to the top of the pyramid or transcend the matrix to get your your wealth, your bounty, your loot your coins, your pentacles, and have your wishes fully fulfilled. You will need this. You will also need Psalms 91. For those of you out there who are asking where to find this, set the intention and find it. I love all of you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I release you in the safety of Holy Spirit. Fisa Bilila. You are with Tunisia Ali, helping you to gain clarity, up level your mindset, clear and heal energetic blockages. Use your sword of truth, wear your garments of righteousness, and so that you can manifest the glory of God here on earth and within yourself. This is the place in space that keeps you aligned with the divine where all comes in due time. I love you. I love you. I love you. Go ahead out there, initiates. Get gritty and greedy. Transcend the matrix. Make the ultimate sacrifice and live the one true reality. Subhanallah.